to move forward and to take this company to a whole new level. And on December the 4th, right here in Newcastle, we are rebranding and re-debuting as Defiance Wrestling. Can he lift the fingers? He's got the block, he's got the legs, I'm dead. This is it, sets her out the ring. Will Osprey desperately pulling himself back up. Can he get there? It's all He's up, 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 he's up. Scales your winner. The winner of the match as a result of a submission and new local Pro wrestling champion, the villain, Marty Straight to the face, straight to the face, the bones break. You're taking it out. Taking as much as you can take It has all changed here in Manchester. Coming out of Refuse to Lose, we have a new general manager and a new WCPW champion. As tonight, for the penultimate time, WCPW is loaded. Dave Bradshaw here alongside James R. Kennedy. And James, not only do we have a new WCPW champion, but after tonight, we could have new tag team champions oh, as well. Oh, how about it? Prime it, the match you never thought you'd see. Prime it and Jimmy Havoc going up against the War Machine for the WCPW Tag Team Gold. I'm fired up. Let's get this on the air. All of that coming up. Let's take it to the rings and get started on the second to last ever episode of Loaded. Oh my God. <laughs> WCPW, long live the villain, long live Marty Skrull. You're still very unhappy about this, aren't you? Absolutely, 100%. But listen to this reception for the new champion, the villain Marty Skrull. I might not like it, Bradshaw, but the people here in Manchester, they sure as hell do. Marty Skrull cashing in his newly won magnificent seventh briefcase. He was the mystery opponent for El Ligero and refused to lose. And then and a, an opportune moment in our main event, the title match between Will Ospreay and former champion Joe Hendry. Marty Skrull came out to the ring, made it a triple threat. And well, as you can see from the championship belt around his waist, the rest is history. Live on pay-per-view, Marty Skrull. He made history in this company. As we prepare for a new era, we have a new champion. It makes standing, me sick to my stomach. A standing ovation here for Marty Skull, as I believe our new champion is about to address the masses. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Just exactly what I wanted to hear.
supposed to be the bad guy, right? <laughs> I think it's fair to say that last night I caused a spot of bother. the magnificent seven briefcase. I beat that numpty Will Ospreay and I beat that numpty Joe Hendry to become the WCPW Champion! Stop applauding Bradshaw for goodness sake. Looks good How on him. Look? Looks great. How's it look? What? 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 I'm glad you guys can say it. <laughs> See, not only am I WCPW champion now, but I am the last ever WCPW champion, which also makes me the first ever and in my head, the only ever defiant champion. The villain's making history. Let me leave into a little secret. Right now, I promise I will be defiant champion forever! And in my mind, Bradshaw, Joe Hendry is still the rightful WCPW champion. The entire prestige are out here after what was a torrid night for them and refused to lose, not only of course losing the title, but earlier on losing the Magnificent Seven briefcase. In fact, the loss of the briefcase was what led to the loss of the title. Joe Hendry looks absolutely livid. And he should be livid, let's be honest. After what happened on Day for View. Whoa, Travis Banks showing some fire here on Loaded. What, what a situation this is though. A bad situation for the new champion, Martin Scuttle. Look at the look in the eyes of Joe Hendry. Look at this, the champion has been surrounded. A dangerous situation here for Skull. And I'm not too sure that BT Gunn and, and Jill Coffey, they don't look too delighted to be here. In fact, BT Gunn not even wearing the colours of the prestige. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice to see you again, former champ. Disrespect. Do you feel like a champion? Do you feel like a champion after the way that you stole the championship title? My championship title. You should be ashamed of yourself. You knew you couldn't beat me one on one, so you had to resort to those tactics to get the championship from me. You should be ashamed. Do you feel like a champion? Because you're not a champion. You're just a blip in the history of professional wrestling. You're just a blip in the history of the prestige. And tonight, we need to make this right. I am demanding a championship title shot because don't think that just because I don't have, I mean, we don't have the physical championship, that I don't run the show. I mean, the prestige don't run the show. So I'm gonna wait here and we're not moving until the new general manager gets out here and gives me a title shot tonight. You know, guess what, Joe? You don't make the rules anymore. Nonetheless, though, it seems like Hugh Bennett, our new general manager, is going to come out here. 
clearly some unfinished business to be resolved regarding the WCPW title situation. Well, if our new general manager wants to get his, his reign as general manager off to a good start, it was certainly a good start, refused to lose. He will give Joe Hendry that rematch that the prestigious one craves. And let me say what a pleasure it is to be back in the north of England. And look at this, we've got our new heavyweight champion, the villain Marty Skull. So Joe Hendry, I happen to agree with you when you say that the Prestige deserve a shot at the heavyweight title. Oh, but Joe, 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 how can I put this? I'm afraid I've got some. the lawyers, I didn't actually say that, so no cease and desist coming my way, please. Now you see, Joe, there is a man in the prestige who will be getting the title shot, but it's not going to be you. my job over here. <laughs> there is a man in the prestige who I've been particularly impressed with of late and that man is none other than the Kiwi Buzzsaw <laughs> Travis Banks. Well the crowd like that decision. So ladies and gentlemen it's official your main event this evening Travis Banks versus the villain Marty Skull, and that is for the heavyweight championship. Thank you. Huge news from our general manager. Travis Banks going to face Marty Skull for the title, but how do the rest of the prestige, and in particular, how does Joe Hendry feel about this? What about Joe Hendry, the prestigious one? Hendry not looking happy. He's uh, directing traffic, and the rest of the prestige to get out of here, but Banks is distracted here, going eyeball to eyeball with... Marty Skull. Far be it from I to question our new general manager. However, Joe Hendry rightfully deserves another crack, a rematch, and another shot at that title. No doubt about it in my mind, Bradshaw. Well, nonetheless, our main event for tonight on Loaded is set. The Kiwi Buzzsaw versus the villain. Travis Banks versus Marty Skull. It's for the WCPW title and it's happening tonight. Defiant. 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 Defiant.
I am. I am. I am defiant. I am defiant. I am the villain. We are defiant. Holding kid in place and oh, spear. to the ribs. Spear from the bones. Bones. We look at this. Referee is asking for some medical assistance for, for the internet champion. It's, it's the rib cage. You saw the referee make that signal. Well known in wrestling. This is a serious, serious situation. Gabriel Kidd in real trouble here. That's Gabriel Kidd! Gabriel Kidd! Gabriel Kidd is the man who Bad Bones assaulted prior to Kidd losing his internet title. You have to think that Gabriel Kidd's thinking about those ribs that Bad Bones hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, it is a singles bout set for one fall. Coming to the ring at this time from Pittsburgh, Germany, weighing in tonight at 228 pounds, Bad Bones. Bad Bones, of course, was a part of that fatal four-way match for the hardcore title 10 days ago at Refuse to Lose, and he was uh, part of a, a, a truly vicious moment where he was part of that. Both him and, uh, and Jimmy Havoc, I should say, went through a table during that match, so Bones without too much time to recover, but maybe what goes around comes around because Bad Bones was responsible for injuring the ribs of Gabriel Kidd, an injury that arguably cost him the internet title. Tonight here on Loaded, Kidd gets his chance at payback. And don't think about, don't forget about this rather, Dave Bradshaw. You talk about revenge. Bad Bones may have some retribution in mind for Gabriel Kidd, who don't forget interfered in that hardcore title opportunity I refused to lose taking Bad Bones out of the match. His opponent hails from Nottinghamshire, England and wins it tonight at 214 pounds, Gabriel Kidd! Well, clearly no love lost between Bad Bones and Gabriel Kidd. As this one gets underway, Kidd oh. goes straight into the crowd barrier. And immediately Bad Bones targeting the rib cage of Gabriel Kidd, crashing Kidd into that security barrier. Goodness me, look at those chops from Bad Bones. Kid fighting back with forearms. This one has set off at an electric pace. Well, this is personal between these two men. Gabriel Kid, knowing that he was backed into a corner, attacked by the vicious mercenary relentlessly. Now he has some revenge in mind. Bell has run, we are underway. Referee Joel Allen trying to get these two inside the ring. I don't think either man cares about a wrestling match. Here comes Kid, straight into the skull of Bad Bones. Of course, as we said, both of these men holding each other responsible for the fact that neither of them have championship gold around their waist. Well, don't forget, Gabriel Kidd again costing Bad Bones the opportunity to become the new hardcore champ. Bad Bones throwing Kidd across the ring. And Kidd now unloading on Bones, who's he fights back. It may have been a poke to the eye. Bones will do anything he, he can. He doesn't pay much attention to the rules. If he can get away with it, it's a big boot, though. Right into the face of this German assassin. Literally rattling the bones of Bad Bones. Gabriel Kidd starting off hot. Goes for a cover, gets a one count. And Bones very quickly, you see that, rolling to the outside. Clearly needing an opportunity to regroup. Kid though indicating that he may be about to take to the skies. Bones has lured him in and Bones catches him with a power slam. Deceptive quickness from Bones. Cover from Bad Bones, kid out at two. Well, Bradshaw, listen to this crowd here in Manchester. An electric atmosphere. Our general manager made a big, big title match for later on tonight, but right now, Bad Bones looking to systematically destroy Gabriel Kidd. He's not going to be able to if Kid can keep countering like he did there out of the suplex. Now, Kid, Irish whip was countered. Kid goes into the corner very hard on the back. And don't forget, Kid is still in the process of recovering from the rib injury that was sustained at the hands of Bad Bones. I would, I would bet you any money at all that Bad Bones 
is trying to hone in on those ribs, and you see it again here. Well, the smartest thing Gabriel Kidd could have done tonight was not put tape on those ribs. However, a man like Bad Bones knows exactly what hurts, and he knows how to hurt it. And as I said, though, Bones must be uh, hurting as well. He's trying to hide it, but that was a brutal hardcore match even before Kidd got involved, and that was a brutal drop kick. Bones will go for the cover, hooks the left leg, and another two count. Well, Bad Bones does not work by the hour. This man is a hired gun, a mercenary. He'll want to finish Gabriel Kidd off pretty quickly here on Lodi. Well, as you mentioned, the uh, WCPW title is going to be on the line tonight, our main event. Signed by our new general manager, Stu Bennett. Travis Banks is going to challenge the new champion, Marty Skrull, as Gabriel Kidd flies off the top turnbuckle. That and now uh, the tag titles on the line as well, of course. War Machine going to defend against the unorthodox team of uh, Jimmy Havoc and Primate. I and still can't believe that one. As Kidd is unloading here on Bones with a boot to the face. Don't forget to uh, let us know who you think is going to win both of those huge title matches coming up later on. The Fisherman Brainbuster from Kidd hooks the leg. Another two count. Join the uh, conversation on social media using the hashtag loaded. Oh, look at this now. Gabriel Kidd, he wants this live crowd, this capacity crowd, to get behind him and they oblige. Bicycle kick from Gabriel Kidd. And stomach first into, into the canvas goes Bones. It's this increasingly intense offense we're seeing from Kidd. He's got the shoulders down for two and three quarters. Oh, that was so, so close to being the end of this match. And think about this, Bradshaw. With so much changing here, we move towards a new era for this company. How huge a win would it be for Gabriel Kidd to knock off the German psychopath, Bad Bones? No doubt Kidd needs to get back to winning ways after that title loss to Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah. My God, German suplex from Bones and a kick to the side of the head for good measure. Oh, Gabriel Kidd spilling out of the ring. And now Bones is going to head to the ropes. Is Bones going to fly? Yes, he is. And they take out the crowd barriers as well. This is the kind of destruction you can expect to see any time Bad Bones is on your television. My goodness, carnage here in Manchester already. Bad Bones now headed to the top rope. Gabriel Kidd hasn't seen him. Bones, missile drop kick. But think about this, Bradshaw. Bad Bones came down hard on that back. Yeah, the the same ba back injured that refused to lose. Absolutely right. And you saw he was uh, driving in pain a little bit after he landed. But Bones very quick to get back on the offensive here. Or is he? Kid countering. Bones ends up on the apron. And Bones launches himself like a missile into those injured ribs of Gabriel Kidd and Bones will come within a half second of winning it. And you're absolutely right, Bad Bones directly and deliberately targeting Gabriel Kidd's ribs. Kidd's ribcage could be broken again, shattered at the hands of the big German. Bad Bones trying to pick up Gabriel Kidd, who is essentially a dead weight at this moment. Bad Bones finds this pretty humorous. He has Kidd exactly where he wants him. Kidd, is, Kidd I think, is unconscious. Why doesn't he pin him? Well, Bad Bones enjoys inflicting punishment. This man lives for inflicting damage, pain and suffering on his opponents. Where's he going? Where is, he, where is Bad Bones going? He can win the match here. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bad Bones with an evil glint in his eyes and the baseball bat in his hand. Trouble here for Gabriel Kidd and you know which part of the body Bad Bones is going to aim for. You could shatter that rib cage. You'll end a career here for this young 20 year old Gabriel Kidd. Kidd ducks the swing. Kick to the face, came from nowhere, absolutely from nowhere. Gabriel Kidd, leg hook, and Kidd beats Bad Bones. Kidd beats Bad Bones. Here Bones. is your winner, Gabriel Kidd. Gabriel Kidd, with what many people here will consider an upset against Bad Bones, but for Kidd, a moment of satisfaction as he gets revenge on the man who, in his eyes, is the only reason he is not still the internet champion. Well, Gabriel Kidd at one time, the WCPW Internet Champion, he lost that title. He wants to get back in the championship mix. And tonight on Loaded, that was the first step 
for Gabriel Kidd towards doing that. Kidd telling Bad Bones to get out of his ring. And a, a young man increasing in confidence with every big victory he gets in his career. He's got another one here tonight against Bad Bones. Gabriel Kidd standing tall here in Manchester. And now, well, guess what? The action doesn't stop there. We've got so much more coming up. Coming up next, the tag team titles on the line. The dominant war machine against Primate at Jimmy Havoc. We've ended up with Primate against War Machine. Primate with an unlikely ally in the man you're about to meet. An unlikely ally, Bradshaw, but a very, very dangerous one. This man makes me very, very nervous. Loose Cannon does not quite describe Jimmy Havoc. His tag team partner, Jimmy Havoc! Havoc and Primate, of course, were two of the four men involved in that incredible fatal four-way hardcore match at Refuse to Lose. What's he just given you? That's a, that's a, a that's roll, a, of, duct a tape. roll of tape. Duct tape, yes. But who knows? In the hands of Jimmy Havoc, even duct tape could be a lethal weapon. And look at this visual, Bradshaw. A fist bump between Primate and Jimmy Havoc. Something that I certainly never thought we would see. Two of the most brutal human beings on the planet, and in Primate's case, I use that term loosely, but maybe that is how these two have built up some kind of mutual respect. They're gonna need more than just mutual respect, though, to beat the most dominant tag team in the world today. War Machine! War Machine 
in all of our, what, year and a half nearly now in WCPW history, in my mind, and with no disrespect to any of the other tag team champions we've had, but no one comes close to the sheer domination that War Machine have inflicted on the rest of the division. And you see Hanksen here with the hardcore title as well that belongs to Primate. And look at Primate's face inside the ring. He must be absolutely furious to see another man hold his hardcore championship. But look at War Machine. You said it, Bradshaw, the single most dominating tag team on planet Earth today. They've already beaten the Young Bucks. But this is an unknown commodity in Havoc and Primus. This has already got very, very uncomfortable just from these four men staring at each other. It is going to be a match not for the faint-hearted to say at the very, very least. Tag Team titles on the line here on Loaded. And remember what Jimmy Havoc said and refused to lose. This match will not be fought under War Machine rules. It will be fought under Havoc rules. Whatever that means. I have a sneaking suspicion it means there are no rules. Yeah, in that sense, I think Jimmy Havoc rules and War Machine rules are pretty similar to each other. In any case... I'm still wondering what this duct tape is doing on our broadcast table. Well, I dread to think. I'm about to say, referee Joel Allen essentially only has two, two jobs here given that there are no rules. Number one, stay out of the way. Number two, count to three. He has a third in my eyes. Number three, call an ambulance. I have a feeling, look at War Machine. Out amongst the people, they want to start this match. Outside the ring, over the barrier, in the live crowd. Bell rings are underway. Primate and Jimmy Havoc, the challengers, happy to oblige the War Machine. It is already unravelling here. They are brawling in the Bowlers Exhibition Centre in Manchester. Unbelievable, look at the stunned faces oh. around these four men. A chair into the face from Hansen as uh, Raymond Rowe also taking control in another part of the arena here. Our camera crew doing a great job to keep up with this. Better them than us, Bradshaw. I think I'll stay right here, away from this violence. Hansen straight into Primate. Ow! Primate. Well, here comes and Jimmy Havoc. Well, ha what's Havoc got? Well, Havoc has something in his hand. Struggling to see from here what it was, but Havoc, nonetheless, coming to the aid of his partner for the night, Primate. Where did Havoc get that weapon? Did he, oh, did he take it from a fan? Did he bring it with him? Who knows with Jimmy Havoc? Primate is biting Row. Primate is biting Row. Goodness me, this is brutality to another level. Here comes Havoc and a poke to the oh. eye of Hanson. Such an unpredictable situation here in Manchester. So, so dangerous. And think about it, this is just the beginning. Raymond Rowe with the forearm to Havoc. They're still out in the crowd. It hasn't even made it to the ringside area, let alone to the ring yet. Rowe has uh, taken Havoc on a tour of the arena. Hanson doing the same with Primate at opposite ends here. Bradshaw, think about Havoc rules, War Machine rules, whatever. It means there are no rules. This fight could go on all night here. There's nothing to say that this match couldn't continue and spill out onto the streets of Manchester. Right. A action all around the arena, both sides of the ring here. But you're right, it could hypothetically last all night. But I don't know how long any two men, even the two men the likes of Primate and Jimmy Havoc, can withstand this beating uh -oh. from Omar oh Hanson and Primate right behind us. War Machine have been dominant here throughout this brawl through the crowd. Oh, and they're, they're coming back towards the ring. Oh, great. Oh, great. They're coming back towards us, too. Havoc finding a way to take control against Rowe, who goes face first into the ring apron. Oh, God. This is just an all-out war. Yeah, it certainly is that, as Hanson uh, with Primate up on the stage. Rowe! Oh. Power, that strike into the head of Havoc. I think Havoc might have a broken nose after that one. Yeah, we've talked so much about how dominant War Machine have been, but in all seriousness, given that they've beaten the Young Bucks now, as well as all the other teams they've defeated, as Hansen gets picked up by his partner, we've seen this before. Rose slamming him down. 
given that they've now beaten the Young Bucks and beaten so many other great teams, I'm not sure there's a team alive who can beat these two. Well, I never thought that I would say Jimmy Havoc and Primate were a tag team, but for one night only, perhaps, they certainly are that. Could they be the winning combination to take down the War Machine? Doesn't look like it right now. Yeah, again, as much as I'd be fascinated to see Jimmy Havoc and Primate as tag team champions, it does not look like a very likely occurrence given the way this has gone so far. Oh, just lining up these... Whoa! Oh, Primate! Primate takes out the War Machine! Where did the hardcore champion come from? Primate with a, a roar of aggression as he leapt through the air onto the tag team champions. Literally jumping from out of nowhere, the hardcore champion taking down both members of War Machine. Hanson and Rowe rolled back into the ring. Suddenly the challenge is on the ascendancy here. Now what a turnaround. Primate. Jimmy Havoc looked done for there. It was two on one. The reversal of the Irish whip and Primate goes into his own partner. Rowe will follow in. Challenge is backed into a corner. Again, remember, oh God. Low angle cross body. Sheer devastation from War Machine. Oh no, hang on. Rowe's got Hanson. Rowe's got Hanson. And the body weight of a 350-pound monster colliding with Jimmy Havoc. I think that the WCPW Tag Team Champions, Hanson and Rowe, are answering that question that we posed before this match. Who can take out War Machine? I don't think there's a team on planet Earth today who can do it. Havoc, though, will not die here. Showing some defiance. If there's one man who's resilient enough... Oh, God, Jimmy Havoc overhead kicks to War Machine. If there's one man who's resilient enough to hang with the War Machine, you'd have to say it's Havoc. If there's two men, it's got to be Primate as well. And this match swinging to and fro. Now it's the challengers who have some momentum. Now, hang on a second. War Machine are over by us here. I don't like this one bit. Here comes Jimmy Havoc. Havoc. Oh, he gets caught by War Machine. Deposited on his feet, but then smashed by Rowe. Here comes Primate. And Primate takes out Hanson and Rowe. Wow. All action here on Loaded. Jimmy Havoc and Primate despite their differences, despite their rivalry over the hardcore title. They are showing some impressive cohesion and teamwork. Well, they're looking under the ring. What is this? I think Havoc has found a ladder. Jimmy Havoc has a ladder. Of course he does. And Primate has a wrench. Primate has a wrench. Of course he does. Nothing surprises me anymore. Got a baking tray as well. We've oh, said it before. Primate with the wrench into the midsection of Hanson. He may do it to Rowe as well. We've said it before, when Primate has that wrench in his grubby mitts, nobody can inflict damage like the hardcore champ. What is Havoc doing? Havoc has Rowe. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh. no! A paper cut between the fingers. To... No, no, don't do that! Oh. Jimmy Havoc. The paper cut to row not once but twice oh, oh baking tray to the skull of havoc havoc looks like he's been knocked into next week by hansen but fights back now against row i'm almost speechless by what we are seeing bradshaw i didn't think there were two men on planet earth who could take it to war machine like havoc and primate are unloaded well we saw brutality in that hardcore match at Refused to lose. We saw brutality in the tag title match. It refused to lose, but it's gone up another gear here on loaded between these two teams. Sheer chaos. Havoc with a chair. A oh, row moved out of the way. My God, this is violent beyond imagination. What next? War Machine now in control once more. War Machine pounding on the chest of the challengers. Just like that, you see how quickly the tag team champions can reassert their dominance and get back on top. <laughs> Hansen and Rowe, 
the most dominating team in all of WCPW, and not only that, the entire pro wrestling world. Well, now what's this? Rowe has set the ladder up between... Oh, there we go, there we go. Our referee is telling uh, the, the crowd here to move back. They are getting perilously close to the action. If Never mind the crowd. I'm getting out of the oh. way. Hanson continuing to do a number on Havoc. I'm too pretty to get hurt. Rowe is going to try and send Primate into this ladder. Primate face first. And the ladder almost fell on top of him. And Primate won't be pretty after that. Oh, speaking of which, a big boot from Hansen to the face, the jaw of Jimmy Havoc. Primate looks like he has no idea what day of the week it is. War Machine are now very much back in control. They have stacked Havoc and Primate up on a steel chair in the corner of the ringside area here. And Oh, look at this now. Hansen, the big beast. And he can move for a big man, Bradshaw. This could, this could crush the challenges, both of them. Hansen takes a run up. Hansen, oh my God. What agility, as always, from Hansen. Possibly the most agile big man in the game today. We're seeing exactly why Hansen and Rowe are the tag team champions. We're seeing why even teams as world class as the Young Bucks were not able to dethrone the war machine. Primate and Havoc being, well, what's left of them being picked up by the tag team champions. And uh, they're going back into the crowd, it looks like. Rowe is, at least. What a tag team title war this is. Havoc tried, tried to charge at Rowe. Havoc gets sent out there as well. Dumped on top of his partner. Yeah. Now Rowe is on the apron. Both Havoc and Primate down among the chairs in the, in the crowd. What is, what, are the, what is Rowe thinking? I dread to think. This is uh, worrying times. I thought Rowe was... What is Havoc doing? Look at Havoc. He wants some more. Jimmy Havoc, an insatiable lust for chaos. Crowd here supporting this tenacity of Jimmy Havoc. Primate trying to fight back as well. Animalistic roar from Primate. Like a grunt. Havoc into the crowd barrier again. War Machine have this one well in hand. You can feel that their experience as a tag team is really paying dividends. Oh God, Hanson! Goodness me. Ladder goes right into our, our commentary table. This is uh, wild beyond control here. Unsafe working conditions here on Loaded. Oh, Primate's gonna take a run up at Row. Row goes into the crowd. The hands of Primate. Did you just see what I did, Bradshaw? Primate almost shoulder barged. Raymond Rowe into the front row here in Manchester. Havoc is back in front of us. Primate's here as well. Raymond Rowe incapacitated in row A, the front row of the crowd. Hansen finds himself perhaps at the mercy of the challengers. Although we oh. fought that before and seen Hansen fight two on one. But look at the size of Hansen. Almost the same size oh. as both Havoc and Primate. Here we go. The warrior instinct of Hansen. He fights back single-handedly against Primate and Havoc. Oh, we've seen this before. Almost like a war hammer, but oh. Well, he's got a chair this time. With a difference, with a twist. Bad times ahead for Primate and Havoc. Oh, look at this. From Hansen. Listen to the war cry of Hansen as he smashes that steel chair into both challengers. Again and again and again into the skulls of Primate and Havoc. When will it end? Whenever Hansen decides, and the one half of the tag team champions, he looks pretty content with his handiwork. Hansen throws 
Primate into Havoc. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Hansen wants some more, some more destruction. He's got the chair again here. Once more, the challenge is stacked up in the corner. And once more, they are taken out by the big man. But look, Havoc and Primate, they are prone in the corner. And they are almost knocked unconscious. Think about this, Bradshaw. Hansen is still two on one. Hansen tried to charge. Oh! Luckily for the challengers, they knew it was coming. German super to the power of Primate. Oh, but Roe is back. Roe is back. Primate sent to the ropes. Roe's going to follow him in. Roe over knee to the jaw. Havoc, lung blower. Oh, cartwheel from Hansen. So, so fast is Hansen. All four men grounded. Something's got to give Bradshaw. Who will leave loaded as the tag team champions? WCPW has had some incredible tag team matches throughout our time in existence. Loaded, for that matter, has had some incredible tag team matches, but this one is right up there with the best. Tag team championships on the line here in Manchester. I don't believe that Primate and Jimmy Halleck have ever teamed together. They certainly don't see eye to eye most of the time. This is a unique situation. And what, what next in this all-out war for championship gold? It's anyone's game at the moment. Havoc and Primate. Almost a stalemate here on Lodi. Yeah, look at these four men stumbling to their feet. Havoc and Primate have put in a superhuman effort. It still may not be enough because the war machine are still standing tall. Champs versus challengers unloaded. The one we've all been waiting for. It's sure not disappointing. Poke to the eye from Havoc as Rowe was roaring in his face, but now they've both been caught. Oh my God. This never ever ceases to amaze me. Look at the strength. Look at the power of Raymond Rowe. Scary, scary power from Rowe. And now have it going to get picked up. Here comes Hansen. Have it taken out to retain the titles. And, oh, have it kicked out. Have it kicked out. Here goes Primate. Primate, a man possessed, unloading on the tag team champions. And look at Primate. Absolute anger. Absolute rage. War Machine, double choke slam on Primate. Have it picked up as well. Caught in midair on the power slam. You can't stop War Machine, Dave. It's impossible. They do have an air of invincibility about them. To the oh. War Machine. I was just waiting on that one. As the fireman's carry into the backbreaker and the, the uh, gut buster. Incredible teamwork from Hansen and Rowe. They just pick opponents to pieces. Raymond Rowe, maneuvering Primate like he was nothing. Here comes Hansen from high up in the air. And no, Primate out. First Jimmy Havoc kicks out, then Primate kicks out. This is unbelievable stuff from the challengers to hang in there. Now, as you know, Bradshaw, there was a time when I represented Primate. I thought I saw everything this man had to offer. But since he became hardcore champ, since he became hardcore champ, I have seen a different side of Primate. One I didn't even know existed. This man is almost inhuman. War Machine will try again to end this. Here comes Havoc though, to help out Primate. Primate lands on his feet. It's a backcracker. Hansen in what could be a precarious position for him. He's been caught on the turnbuckle. Havoc is climbing up there with him. Havoc, run up! Hansen flies into row. Now the challengers have to seize the opportunity. Primate picks up his own partner. Power bombs Havoc onto Rowan and onto Hansen. He'll pick him up again. God, have you ever seen anything like this? Oh. He'll, a fourth power bomb. Jimmy Havoc's body being used as a weapon. Double pin. And oh, the war machine, get out. 
Well, the war machine barely escaping there, but escape they did, and they march on as the tag team champions. That must be so disheartening to Havoc and Primate not to get the victory. Well, there's psychological problems here for War Machine as well. I think they were hoping, given the inexperience of their opponents as a unit, that this would be one of their easier tag title defenses. Arguably, it's been their toughest so far. Havoc to the outside. Boot to the face of Primate. Hanson once again going it alone and still able to dominate. Hanson went for the handspring, but the trash can from Havoc, the spear from Primate. Oh, and Hanson very, very smart. That's why he is a tag team champion, rolling out of the ring before Primate could cover him. Oh, oh, no. oh. Wait, Havoc's got, Havoc's got that duct tape he brought out with him. We wondered why Havoc left that duct tape on our announce table, we're seeing why. What's he oh. doing? He's got, he's got the, the arm here of Hanson. He's gonna, is he trying to tape? He's taping Hanson's wrist to the crowd barrier. Well, this is clever from the challengers trying to isolate Raymond Rowe. If they can stop Hanson from getting to Rowe and saving this match, then we could have new tag team champions. I never thought I would even say those words. Well, Hansen is caught up. He can't go anywhere. Raymond Rowe using his head as a weapon. Only Raymond Rowe would counter a forearm from men like Primate and Jimmy Havoc with his head. Havoc's got a chair. Missed with the, the swing of the chair, the headbutt again. Right to the heart of Havoc. Rowe just tossing Primate and then a knee into the jaw. Unbelievable. But Hansen still taped up, still taped up to that security barricade, unable to free himself. Hansen is basically a manager here for Rowe. He's shouting advice, but he can't do anything else. He's trying to rip that crowd barrier apart. That is solid steel. Oh. Ripping and tearing at the tape now, but Rowe, meanwhile, has these chairs set up. Jimmy Havoc came here with a plan. It was obviously to take Hansen out of commission. Speaking of plans, I believe Raymond Rowe has something devious in mind for Mr. Havoc. Well, don't forget, Havoc went through a couple of chairs atop a table at refused to lose. Raymond Rowe perhaps taking inspiration from that match. He's going to try and do the same to Havoc here. Primate will rescue him. Primate! has got Rowe, a powerbomb through the chairs on Raymond Rowe. Double foot stomp from Havoc. No way. The cover from Havoc, the cover. They've done it, they've done it, they've done it. Here are your winners and new World Culture Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the team of Jimmy Havoc and Brian. We thought the war machine would never be beaten, but the machine has stopped working. The machine is broken, and the tag team champions are Primate and Jimmy Havoc. After all the teams that War Machine vanquished, the Young Bucks and all, it was the most unlikely challengers who triumph and leave as the new champions. I can't believe it, Bradshaw. Primate has retrieved his hardcore title as well. Primate now a double champion. Hansen is livid. He's finally been set free by a member of our ring crew. Raymond Rowe may need medical attention after that power. Look at those steel chairs, what's left of them, the two that Rowe went through. And look at this, Bradshaw. Look at the title belts that Primate and Jimmy Havoc have. Havoc asking for a show of respect from the now former champions. I can't believe I'm saying that. And they get it. Hanson and Raymond Rowe, incredible tag team champions. But unbelievably, their time is over. And the tag team championship reign of Havoc and Primate has begun.
injection attempt here from Jay Lethal. Oh, Roxy, I think Lethal changed his mind. Roxy wouldn't be so forgiving to Jay Lethal. There's evidence of that. I, don't know, I think Lethal might change his mind. Oh, the story's gonna take out Roxy. But wait a minute now. Drake trying to steal one. Lethal holds onto the ropes. Lethal will go for the lethal injection and gets it! He gets it on Drake! The cover from Lethal! And Lethal wins it for his team! A time for action from the women's division and two women who competed against each other in a mixed tag match at Refuse to Lose. Tonight, they go one on one. The following contest is a single spot set for one fall from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. This is Little Miss Roxy. Little Miss Roxy was teamed with her, her partner, I think that's now public knowledge, Drake, at Refuse to Lose. They were unsuccessful against Jay Lethal and Ava Story. It was Lethal with the pin over Drake, though. So in Roxy's mind, Ava Story has not beaten her. Roxy believes she has a point to prove after that mixed tag match, and she intends to prove it here tonight in Manchester. Well, Roxy with a newfound attitude. As we begin for a new era, it's a new attitude from Roxy. One-on-one -on -one here tonight unloaded, a point to prove. No doubt about it, she intends to prove that point. been mentored by the great Jay Lethal. Just starting out her career, she's already had some exposure on Impact Wrestling over in the United States, and of course now in WCPW at Refuse to Lose, one of the hottest prospects in the women's wrestling world. But Roxy believes that she is well in line to be climbing the ladder here in the women's division, and she intends to prove it against this young American athlete. Well, I happen to agree with Roxy. Overlooked for almost a year here in WCPW. It's time for a change. Roxy wants to make a point tonight against Ava Story, and I believe she will make it. She's had her opportunities. Oh, come on now. You, you really believe that Little Miss Roxy has been treated fairly in this company? Yes. Oh, come on now. You haven't been watching the same events that I have, Bradshaw. Name one time she was treated unfairly. She's been treated unfairly from day one. That's I can't even name yes. one. <laughs> I can name 10, any. 12, 15. Well, I'm yet to hear one. Anyway, Roxy and Story are going to link up as they get underway. Roxy twisting that wrist lock. What's going to be interesting here, Bradshaw? Little Miss Roxy, a spitfire for sure. She's always accustomed to having the size disadvantage, but look at that. The flexibility is her clear advantage. Roxy been part of the women's division here for the vast majority of, his, of its existence in WCPW. Roxy's time is now. Wow. Ava Story, a newcomer, thinks she can just waltz into this company and take what is rightfully Roxy's. You're talking like Roxy has, uh, believes she's entitled. Wouldn't be the only person back in that locker room. We've already seen multiple times in the past year, the prestige, and for that matter, her boyfriend, Drake, thinking that they are owed something by the world. Ava Story gets a, a two count. Well, speaking of the prestige, don't forget our main event coming up. Travis Banks is going to challenge Marty Skull for his newly won WCPW Championship. There's Story with a kick into the side of the head of Roxy. She'll go for the cover. She'll get two and only two. Ava Story looks as though she has all the confidence, the self-belief in the world sitting under the learning tree of Jay Lethal. But Roxy's been doing some learning of her own, not only from Drake, not only from her partner Drake, 
but she has watched as everyone else has had opportunity after opportunity here in WCPW in the women's division. And again, to eat her up in sight. You're yet to give me one example of when she's been treated unfairly, but I guess I can wait anyway. Ava's story has uh, Roxy in a precarious position, hung upside down here off the top turnbuckle. Story will take a run up and Story! Both feet between the shoulder blades of Roxy. Cover. Can Story pick up the win here? Not yet. Roxy scrambling away from Ava Story. Story now has Roxy backed into a corner. Reversal of the Irish whip from Roxy. Grabs the feet and now hooks her over the rope and back of the head, bouncing like a basketball off the canvas. And there's that newfound vicious side of Little Miss Roxy. She's willing to do whatever it takes to get to the top. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Roxy in a pick up. Story goes for the suplex and gets it. Uh, Roxy very pleased with her handy big smile on her face took too long to go for the cover and that was just a one just a one count there and Roxy now some disrespectful shoves to the head of Ava's story Roxy trying to choke the life out of story and that's obviously illegal referee calling for the break but Roxy intending to use as much of that five count as she can well you have to bend the rules you certainly can't break them but you can bend them all you like. Still getting our breath back here from a match a moment ago where there were no rules. Breaking news here in Manchester, of course, that we have new tag team champions. The War Machine have lost the titles to Primate and Jimmy Havoc. Still can't believe that, Bradshaw. I still cannot believe. Oh, Roxy goes for the cover here and another two count. One of the most unlikely alliances in WCPW history, Primate and Jimmy Havoc, they are now the tag team champions. Primate, of course, now holding two championships. He's, I guess, the most decorated man in WCPW. That can't please you very much. He's done pretty well since he left you. Oh, no, come on now. You, I, I gave Primate the foundations to be a success. Roxy. And Little Miss Roxy is showing that she as a success in her own right. Cover from Roxy, who, who has taken control here against Story. And Bradshaw, need I remind you that I once managed Drake. I still represent the man, and part of that package is Little Miss Roxy. I made advances to Roxy to guide her career. Now, she is showing me right now that she took my advice on board. Roxy ripping and tearing. I think she's pulling the hair. I think she had her fingers maybe in the nostrils there of Story. Referee is insisting that Roxy play by the rules, but she is clearly reluctant to do so. I said that it refused to lose, Bradshaw. Rules schmules. When it comes to winning, who cares oh, about them? You can bend them all you like. Speaking of, speaking of bending, she's bending Ava Story's neck here. The Story wriggles to the rope. Again, though, Roxy not releasing the hold immediately and even though Story made the ropes the damage may have been done exploiting the full extent of that five count and quite right too Roxy must win this match no doubt in my mind so important for her career Story fighting back Roxy was trying to unleash some strikes here this spinning kick from Story Story and Roxy both of these women exhausted great effort from both of them just as we saw in that mixed tag match that refused to lose. What a pride at stake, but not only pride, a chance to, as I mentioned at the start of the match, to rise up the rankings in the women's division here. Well, both these women would love to be the women's champion. No doubt about it. But Roxy feels, having been here longer than Ava's story, that she doesn't want to see the American waltz in and steal her place a few rungs above Roxy on the ladder. Wouldn't be stealing it, she could win it legitimately here. Story more than holding her own against Roxy. In fact, she's taken control with that clothesline. A second one sends Roxy down. And now Story will send Roxy to the ropes another time. Roxy goes for the boot. Oh. Sweeps the leg away to Story. And the back of Roxy's head hit that canvas hard. 
Looks like Story is going to leap. It's his feet first, right into the chest of Roxy. And you're seeing here the quick thinking of Ava Story, the influence of Jay Lethal very much on display. Well, we've witnessed Jay Lethal perform moves exactly like that one countless times. Ava Story taking a page out of Lethal's book and using it to great success against Roxy. Roxy trying to charge in again. That was a little hasty and she pays for it with the neck breaker. Story could end it here. She's hooked the leg. She's got the two count. And she nearly had the three, but referee Joel Allen says no. And Roxy crying out in agony. But she's very much still in this match. Referee checking that Story is okay, checking that Roxy is okay. Both of these women taking a lot of punishment here. Oh, big slap from Roxy. Roxy with a knee into the midsection. She's got Story down onto her knees and a kick into the side of the head. Sends her right down onto the mat. Roxy sees it, goes for the cover. And again, that left shoulder up from Story means this match continues. And Roxy has to keep it together here. Very frustrated that referee Joel Allen is not counting to three. Story doing everything she can to kick out. Oh, oh cover into the small package. It's a small package, great counter from Story. Again, though, Roxy got out after two. Roxy will go to the ropes. Gets picked up and slammed down. Spinebuster from Ava Story. This time got her all wrapped up. And again, Roxy, credit where it's due, gets out of that another time. Oh, wait, oh. hang on, what's this now? What is this? Here comes Drake. Drake. As, oh, wait, right behind him, there's Jay Lethal. Lethal, not going to allow Drake to stop Ava Story from having every opportunity to win this. Drake and Lethal are brawling. No love lost between those two. what's happening inside the ring. Yeah, oh, God. It's like a scorpion kick and the backcracker from Roxy. She'll go for the cover on Story. And after that distraction, Roxy's your winner. Here is your winner, Little Miss Roxy. Little Miss Roxy, you see, getting in the face of Ava Story. Roxy, very, very pleased to say the least that she has picked up a very important win tonight in Manchester. Well, what good is winning if you can't gloat about it? Little Miss Roxy, well within her rights to do just that. This is a huge win. The career of Little Miss Roxy is on an upward trend. Roxy, your winner tonight on Loaded. That has, that's Vader Scott. Vader Scott, one of the top women wrestlers in the United States. Oh, and she's come to claim a prize. What is she doing here? She's taking out both Priestley and Ray. So when it comes to the women's division here, obviously no IQ test required looking at you. So why don't we add some brains into the mix? Finally. Vader Scott can't just come in here and demand a title shot after attacking two women who just had a very competitive back and forth match on Bailey. He's got the trunks! And somehow Bailey got out. Star took a shortcut. This time, the shooting star, the knee drop, right into the spinal column of David Starr. And Mike Bailey is your winner and refused to lose. Well, that is rising above some of the tactics of David Starr on the part of Bailey to still offer a handshake credit to this very respectful young man. Oh. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Night and day there. The respectful speedball Mike Bailey and the opposite on display from a very sour loser in David Starr. Well, here comes a woman who made an impact and refused to lose. Vader Scott surprising everyone by showing up at the conclusion of the women's title match. The following contest set for one fall. It is a mixed tag team match. Introducing first, this is Vader Scott. Vader Scott, as I said, attacking both Kaylee Ray and B. Priestley. Kaylee Ray retained the women's title and refused to lose against Priestley. Vader Scott demanding after launching out assault that she is the next person to get a shot at Kaylee Ray.
Veda Scott made quite an impact on pay-per-view, no less. If you're going to do it, do it on the grand stage. That's what I say. An unlikely partner, perhaps, for Veda Scott. But I guess your enemy's enemy is your friend. And that is the case here for Mike Bailey. Introducing her tag team partner, Speedball Mike Bailey! Speedball Mike Bailey now the number one contender for the Internet Championship after defeating David Starr at Refuse to Lose. Starr was absolutely livid at the loss. Well, so Starr couldn't believe that he did not get the job done. There was a title shot at stake. David Starr wanted it but it went the way of speedball. You cannot fail to be impressed by Mike Bailey. Now, the internet title could well be in the near future for this young man from Canada, but David Starr clearly insisting on another chance. Now, hang on, what is this? Vader Scott and Mike Bailey clearly getting on a little bit better than we expected they would. Oh. I, I want a kiss as well. The man with the most nicknames in all of pro wrestling. Her opponents, first of all, the dream in your coffee, your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler, the Jewish Cannon. The physical embodiment of charisma, the Bernie Sanders of professional wrestling, the most entertaining man in professional wrestling, Mr. American Rana, the 104 minute man, the main event, oh, he's really good in Twitter, the king of taunts, the product, David Starr! David Starr, clearly the number one member of the David Starr fan club, but he's barely calmed down, I think, from that defeat against Bailey. And Star looking to even the score here. It can be very, very difficult because Bailey is on a roll here in WCPW. Well, this is going to be very interesting. What a situation developing here in WCPW. David Starr, as you said, Bradshaw, irate that he did not win and refused to lose. New attitude from David Starr, but one hell of a partner for the product too. Introducing his tag team partner, she is a current War Culture Pro Wrestling Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray! Kaylee Ray, one of the hottest properties in all of women's wrestling. Our women's champion here in WCPW. Of course, fresh from returning from the United States of America as well, which she was part of the May Young Classic. What an ovation here for Kaylee Ray. The current women's champion here in WCPW as we prepare to shoot off into a defiant new era. But tonight, it's all about mixed tag team action on Loaded. Some very interesting dynamics we're about to see. Veda Scott and Mike Bailey on one side, David Starr and Kaylee Ray on the other. We talked about Bailey and Scott being a something of an odd couple. Well, the same I think is true of Starr and Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray much more of a, a, a humble young competitor than David Starr, who clearly believes his own hype. Well, they're not just nicknames. All those monikers that David Starr has. They are not just there for show, Dave Bradshaw. David Starr believes that he lives up to his surname and he is the star of this company. Looks like Starr wanting to start things out against Bailey, but Vader Scott insisting on starting this out. And this will be the first time we've seen Vader Scott in action here. Some stretching from speedball Mike Bailey. We've We've watched in awe as Bailey has struck opponents down with those lethal kicks of his. 
could that be in the future of David Starr? He's already tasted some at Refuse to Lose. Does he really want some more from Bailey? And this is true mixed tag team action here on Loaded. Yeah, it certainly is. As see Scott trying to lift Starr. Starr obviously physically the much larger of the two. He goes into the hammerlock. I think Veda Scott has changed her mind about going up against David Starr. Scott has been absolutely obsessed, it seems, with the chance to face Kaylee Ray and looking to prove she can hang not just with the women's champion, but with the men's division as well as Starr goes for an early cover. Put those shoulders down for a two count. The cream in your coffee looking pretty damn good right about now. I'm saying that though, Scott fighting back. Oh, spoke too soon. Veda Scott in the arm behind and the submission applied to Star. Star floats over into the cover. And it's a two count only as Scott back to her feet and smashes Star in her face. I think Veda Scott wants to give some of the same medicine to the women's champion Kaylee Ray. Don't forget we're moments away of course from our WCPW title match. Oh. Our main event made by our general manager, Stu Bennett, earlier on. Marty Skrull going to have his first title defence against the Kiwi buzzsaw, Travis Banks, later what, on. What an opportunity for Banks. Oh, Kaylee Ray is in now, but look, Veda Scott scrambles over to the other side of the ring. And now we have Kaylee Ray versus Speedball Mike Bailey. And they are standing on opposite top turnbuckle. This will be a fascinating encounter. Talked about some of the recent success of Kaylee Ray over, of course, in WWE, among other places. Been big in ICW in Scotland and all over the world, really. Well, Bailey has been having a hell of a 2017 as well. His quarter-final match in the Pro Wrestling World Cup against Will Ospreay voted the best match of the tournament by wrestling fans around the world. Oh, look at that athleticism from Speedball. Ray into the corner, leapfrogs behind. Bailey does the same thing. Bailey will head to the rope, ducks a clothesline from the women's champion. And a Hurricane Rana. Oh, and Kaylee Ray managed to find a way out of it. Stalemate. Wow. Listen to this crowd. This is great, great, great stuff between Mike Bailey and Kaylee Ray. Well, Kaylee Ray, I have watched for years. Oh. Oh, Kaylee Ray wasn't watching Veda Scott, who came in from behind. And Starr, yeah, Starr does the same thing. Bailey and, and Ray, clearly the two most respectful of the four in this match. Which is why it's such a surprise that they're teamed with different partners, I suppose. As I said at the top of this match, such an interesting dynamic on both sides of the equation. Top kick off the top from Ray onto Bailey. Sending uh, Vader Scott face first. Look at this tag team oh. synergy between Kaylee Ray and David Starr. Now Bailey will try to go for the suplex. Starr stops it from happening. And now Starr, the help from Kaylee Ray, slams Bailey down. Ray will go for the cover and Bailey kicks out on two. And Mike Bailey had to kick out because Veda Scott was nowhere to be found. Kaylee Ray believes she had Bailey down for the three. The stiff forearm. Yeah, she's got him down again with that forearm. Well, Kaylee Ray has mixed it with men before. I've watched her face men in ICW in death matches, if you can believe that. She is certainly not phased oh, by facing any gender. I can absolutely believe that. She's one of the toughest competitors, male or female, you're ever likely to meet as Bailey into the corner. Well, she'll have to be tough if she's going to take shots like that from Mike Bailey. A low cross body in the corner from Scott. Scott very impressive here. And she tries to demonstrate her credentials. Demanding that women's title match. As I said, she's kind of been obsessed with Kaylee Ray, it seems, over the past couple of weeks as we found out I refused to lose. Cover here. Scott gets a two count. I tell you, if Scott was to be able to pin the women's champion tonight in Manchester, that really would make a strong case for her getting a shot at the title. Well, Scott making no secret over her ultimate goal here in WCPW. She knows that there's big things happening here on this side of the Atlantic. She wants to be part of it. 
and she is directly targeting Kaylee Ray's women's title. Smart move by Scott here as well, backing Kaylee Ray into uh, Scott and Bailey's corner. And Bailey is a legal man. And David Starr not happy on the ring apron with referee Joel Allen. David Starr's never happy. I don't think that helped out his partner Kaylee Ray though one bit. Oh! Dropped it right into the back of Kaylee Ray and Bailey gets another two count. Kaylee Ray kicking her legs in pain and frustration on the canvas. David Starr reaching with every fiber of his being to get that tag. What a support here for Mike Bailey. What a respect from our WCBW fans after that performance that he put in in the World Cup. Kaylee Ray though, take him down by the head. There's a tag from Starr. I don't think Kaylee Ray was looking for the tag, but Starr has tagged himself in. It's worked out in their favor though. Kaylee Ray rolling out of the ring. David Starr now has Mike Bailey down. Oh. David Starr unloading on the man who beat him at Refuse to Lose to become the number one contender for the internet title. Look at this from Starr. It's all the frustration of what happened on pay-per-view coming out. And the cream in your coffee. Is there American runner? <laughs> I can't even DDT, speak. Look this at action that. is so hot, Dave Bradshaw. This is what Loaded's all about. Oh, spinning kick though, that martial arts background of Mike Bailey coming into oh. play. But Star equal to it. Bailey goes down. Star for the cover. David Star, did he get him? No. And look at Star's face. He's fighting hard not to get frustrated. We saw that and refused to lose, and there we go. The slap to speedball Mike Bailey's face. Bailey struggling to get up. Star looks like he's headed for the ropes. Mr. American Runner, I got it right that time. Star on the shoulders of Bailey, trying to wriggle free. Bailey, we've seen this before as well. The moonsault into the double knee drop, right into the abdomen of the product. David. And now, is it crucial that Star makes the tag to Kaylee Ray? Veda Scott wants back in, she gets in. Yeah, Star needs out of there in the worst possible way, but instead, Veda Scott is gonna, what are you doing here? Some kind of leg lock, I think. Oh, she's taking too long though, Bradshaw. Yeah, Kaylee Ray is in. Oh, Kaylee maybe Ray. not. Oh! And the suplex on Ray, but she still had Star locked up, so done some damage to the ankle of David Starr. And Starr, oh, picking up Scott in the end. It was Scott who went into Kaylee Ray. Scott now into Starr, she'll go for the cover, hooks the leg and Starr kicks out. Mike Bailey down on the arena floor. It's Veda Scott and David Starr one-on-one -on -one inside the ring. Kaylee Ray feeling it on the ring apron too. What a match. Star going down to one knee to prevent him being picked up for the, uh, the suplex. Scott changes plans and goes for the uh, forearm into the face instead, but my God, the back of the neck across the knee of David Starr. That could be it. But David Starr, he's not thinking about the pinfall. He wants Kaylee Ray inside that ring. Star will go for the tag, he gets it to Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray smells blood. Yeah, Bailey's not there. Mike Bailey's still incapacitated, and that means that there will be no tag for Vader Scott. Scott into her own corner at the hands of the women's champion. Well, Kaylee Ray has to get Scott out of that corner and towards her own. Kick to the face from Kaylee Ray. She'll try and pin Vader Scott and gets a two. And I talked about what it would mean if Scott was to pin Ray. Conversely, if Kaylee Ray pins Vader Scott here, does it mean that Scott's case for being the number one contender is dead in the water? It's a very good point. Very, very good point. Scott cannot afford to lose to Kaylee Ray here on Loaded. Scott sent to the outside by Ray. Bailey oh. is out there. Hang on. Bailey's on the apron. Scott sees him. Bailey closed on to the outside. Kaylee Ray. Take out both her opponents. David Starr launches as well. Uh oh. Are we going to see Starr and Ray in stereo? Starr and Ray taking out Bailey and Scott. What a match this is. 
One hell of a mixed tag team match. The crowd wants more. I don't think Vader Scott and Mike Bailey want any more. Looks like Star and Ray are happy to oblige. They'll go another time. Yeesh. Tell you what, David Starr and Kaylee Ray are a much more effective tag team unit than I expected them to be. Talked about how they're an odd couple. Sometimes odd, cu odd couples work, and that seems to be the case here. Yeah, they're not the only odd couple that are working here on Loaded. We've discussed that issue. This is an entirely different one that we are seeing before our very eyes. Bailey now holding Scott as she ascends to the top. She's balancing across the top rope. Great. Phenomenal agility. balance. Oh, God. And Vader Scott takes out Star. Bailey Mike might Bailey's not... feeling it. Yeah, he might not be done here. Bailey off the middle rope. The moonsault. And I think the knees of Mike Bailey crashed into the face of Kaylee Ray. Another kiss. Yeah. Another kiss, Bradshaw. Vader Scott. Get off me. We're not following and Mike suit. Bailey. What? I'm out of your league. Kaylee Ray rolled in. It's a league I'm happy to be relegated from. Vader Scott will go for the cover and gets a, a two count. Kaylee Ray still kicking out despite. All of that punishment she took on the outside. But now what's this from Scott? Oh, this is dangerous. The reverse Boston Crab. The spine of Kaylee Ray bent that. up like a pretzel. A novel submission move. Star is reaching for his partner. Bailey is holding Star back. It's important that Star gets to Kaylee Ray in time. And Star. We'll try and stop it, but Bailey, Bailey unloads. Bailey, the number one contender for the internet title, with those kick after kick after kick on David Starr. And out goes Starr, Kaylee Ray in desperate trouble. Yeah, Ray is still in the submission. Ray is still in the submission. Can Kaylee Ray, the women's champion, make it to the ropes? She just inches away, and she's fingertips on the ropes and grabs it. Scott will have to release the hold. Painful looking submission that was. Oh. Kaylee Ray, and what lasting damage will that do to Kaylee Ray's back and spine? Take some vertebrae out of position. Slip a disc. Scott will send Ray to the rope. No, she won't. Ray counters, kick to the jaw of the uh, would be number one contender. Oh. Champion taken out by Bailey. To the uh, forehead from Star on Bailey. Everyone getting taken out one after another. They're in this high octane mixed tag team match. Everyone's down. All four of these competitors are exhausted on the canvas. I'm kind exhausted just watching them. This is the kind of action we've come to expect on Loaded. Again, our penultimate episode tonight. And this. Dave Bradshaw is the kind of action you can expect going forward. WCPW, of course, on, on course to become defiant wrestling after next week's Loaded. And now well, Star and, and Bailey are arguing. They've each got the other's partner on their shoulders. Meanwhile, Kaylee Ray and Veda Scott completely helpless. Then they're negotiating whether they're prepared to... Uh, Show mercy to each other's partners. And Bailey is suggesting they both put each other's partners down unharmed. Gentlemen's agreement. On a count of three. Oh, some respect unloaded. Oh, oh, for the women taking out the men with two Canadian destroyers. Supreme here on Loaded. You want to talk about a women's revolution? Veda Scott and Kaylee Ray showed that one is in full swing. Speaking of swinging, Kaylee Ray swings out of that 
attempt, I guess it was an attempt at a power bomb, maybe another Canadian destroyer. Oh, bit of Scott blocking it twice. Yeah, but now she's up in the in the gory position. Maybe going for the gory bomb is uh, is Kaylee Ray, the women's champ. Again, trying to pick up this time for a suplex. Takes out the shin. A kick to the jaw, but Kaylee Ray takes one to the jaw as well from Bailey. Star cuts off speedball. Kaylee Ray. Flatliner. Oh, wait a minute. And we have a, a submission. It's a submission. Ray has got a leg and her arms wrapped around the head of Vader Scott. Vader Scott, that right arm may reach out for that bottom rope, but it's so, so far away. The only thing Scott may be able to do with that limb is tap. Look, Scott is struggling, trying to get some movement going with her legs. She needs to get closer to the ropes. Star is in there. Mike Bailey back in also. Bailey will break this up. He probably just had seconds to spare. I'm not sure that Scott could have lasted in that submission for much longer. Crowd chanting for speedball Mike Bailey. Strikes from Kaylee Ray. And Ray walks into the boot of, or into the foot, the barefoot of Bailey. Shooting star, double knee drop from nowhere. And wait a minute now, Vida Scott, the cover, and Star breaks it up. And and here we are again, another stalemate. This is great, great, great action. Now it's Star and Bailey once more. Bailey, again those martial arts kicks, one of the toughest strikers in the wrestling world today, as David Starr is finding out again. Oh. Kaylee Ray struck Bailey. Starr takes him out. Oh, it's two on one. And now maybe the gory bomb referee oh. took one into the into the stomach. Starr will fight back. And the referee's out of position here. Yeah, Ray could get the cover thanks to Star, but referee has uh, been struck here. And Kaylee Ray apologising to referee Joel Allen. Vader Scott looking to roll up the women's jump. Yeah, Kaylee Ray had the ropes though. I think Joel Allen's going to be okay. But hang on, hang on a second. There is the roll up. There is the roll up. And Vader Scott just beat the women's champion. Wow. Vader Scott has just made a statement here about her intentions. Here are your winners, the team of Speedball Mike Billy and Vader Scott. Maybe Vader Scott is the real deal. She Another kiss. She certainly has strengthened her case here to be the number one contender for the women's title. What a win for Bailey and Scott. Well, what a night we've already had here on Loaded. New Tag Team Champions crowned. The seemingly undefeatable War Machine defeated by the new champions Primate and Jimmy Havoc. Plus at the top of the show, our new general manager, Stu Bennett, announcing the first title defense for our new champion, Marty Skull. It's going to happen in a minute against a member of the Prestige, but that member is not Joe Hendrick. No, it's not Joe Hendrick. The prestigious one, he cannot be happy with that. It is, in fact, the Kiwi buzzsaw, Travis Banks, who gets a shot at Marty Scurll. But don't forget, all that and more. We have one more episode of Loaded coming up next week, Bradshaw, and what a show it will be. We certainly do. Some great matches already announced for next week's Loaded. A fatal four-way elimination match between four men who have a lot of history with each other. El Ligero, Drake, Jay Lethal, and Martin Kirby. Plus, B. Friesen goes one-on-one -on -one with her former gatekeeper, Viper and Liam Slater against Alex Gracie. Those matches are already signed. We also know Will Ospreay will be here. The Young Bucks, many more as well. It's all coming up next week on the final episode of Loaded. Big match, Banksy. It's time. It's time, Trav. See if you don't win, I'm going to give you a hairdryer treatment. Fling at you. It's yours. It's yours, mate. It's yours. I'll do it for the prestige, boy. Uh -huh. Do it for yourself. Listen, let's uh, let's just settle down. No matter what happens, we'll be here waiting for you when you come back. <laughs> what a main event! What a WCPW! What? Oh.
No! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at Battle of Mata! It's the villain! Marty Skull! Marty Skull! The, the villain seven Marty Skull has cashed in the Magnificent Seven briefcase! This is now oh, a triple oh, threat match! Oh, oh, Fingers, he's got the block, he's got the legs hooked in. This is it, center of the ring. Will Osprey desperately pulling himself back up. Can he get there? It's all heat up, 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 heat up. Skull's your winner. Skull's the winner the of the match as a result of a submission. And new local Pro wrestling champion, the villain, Marty Skull. After one of the greatest main events in WCPW history, Marty Skull has cashed in his newly won Magnificent Seven briefcase, and Marty Skull holds the richest prize in WCPW. for the Kiwi Buzzsaw. At the start of tonight's broadcast, Travis Banks could not have known that he could end the penultimate episode of Loaded with the championship. Well, Mark, uh, Joe, Hendry and the rest of the Prestige telling Travis Banks that whatever happens, they will be back waiting for him after this match. If they get their way, as I said, Banks could be coming back there with that WCBW championship, but what would that mean for Hendry, who believes that that championship is his personal property, if his supposed ally, Travis Banks, comes into possession of it? Well, Hendry would, he, he'd be absolutely furious, and rightfully so, and this place just came unglued. We await the arrival of the new WCPW Champion! Here he comes! Whoa! Well, how fitting! The villain has been on fire as of late and he's greeted by some flames. Marty Skull using that Magnificent Seven briefcase to great effect at Refuse to Lose, inserting himself into the championship match between Joe Hendry and Will Ospreay. And Skull able to turn that into one of the biggest victories of his career. Well, Travis Banks has not taken his eyes off that championship belt around the waist of Marty Skull. Travis Banks he lives for winning championships. Tonight on Loaded, he could be the new WCPW champion and take this company into a new era. But as you said, Bradshaw, what would that mean for the future of the prestige? The following contest it is a singles bout set for one fall. And it will decide the Walk Culture Pro Wrestling Championship. Introducing first to my left, the challenger representing the Prestige. Wrestling out of Auckland, New Zealand. And winning tonight at 198 pounds, he is the Kiwi Bussaw, Travis Banks. His opponent, represents the Bullet Club. From Cambridge, England, winning tonight at 180 pounds, he is your current reigning 
and defending WCPW champion, the villain, Marty Skull! What a main event this is going to be. Uh, Skull and Banks, eyeball to eyeball, with the richest prize in WCPW about to be decided. Bathed in the spotlight. Who will leave with the championship? Will Marty Skurrell's reign be a short one? It will, if Travis Banks has anything to do with it. Skurrell said earlier he will be champion forever. Not just here at the end of WCPW. That could be what's in the future. Just a few minutes in the future if Banks gets his way. Well, Skurrell's words could come back to haunt him, Bradshaw. One thing the villain has always been is cocky and very, very sure of himself. But Travis Banks is not one to take lightly. What a challenge this is for the villain to beat the Kiwi buzzsaw. We are underway. Travis Banks from Auckland, New Zealand. Marty Skirl, the champion from Cambridge, England. They are cautiously approaching this one. Skirl knows it would be an absolute disaster if he was to lose that championship just 10 days after gaining it. Meanwhile, Banks knows this is a, an opportunity for one of the biggest moments of his career. You have to believe the rest of the prestige will be watching this match very, very closely to see if Travis Banks can get the job done. Skirl with a bit of mind games there, trying to get under the skin of Travis Banks, which frankly doesn't take much. Travis Banks, a very focused individual, but he has a temper on him. Two locking fingers again. Skull able to take down the Kiwi buzzsaw. Oh, and just manipulating the arm of Travis Banks. Skull again, twisting and turning. Banks trying to find a way out. Sweeps the leg in the end, that's one way to do it. Very technical start here between these two. I think there is, despite their obvious differences, and plenty of us have differences with the prestige, but there's a something of a mutual respect in terms of each other's talent, if not their character. Well, Joe Hendry, I wonder if the prestigious one is wondering how different things could have been tonight. Joe Hendry believed he was due another match, a one-on-one -on -one match, in fact, against Marty Skurrell. For the WCPW title, he lost that refused to lose. Instead, it's Travis Banks, his fellow member of the Prestige, who gets that opportunity. And by the way, I don't believe for a moment when Joe Hendry says, yeah, we're right behind you, we'll be here for you, Travis. I mean, do you honestly believe that Joe Hendry wants anyone other than himself to be the WCPW champion? Well, I have to admit, I'm surprised to see no fellow members of the Prestige out here supporting Travis Banks. They have had this, almost this pack of dogs hungry mentality since they formed here in WCPW. Well, Travis Banks on his own tonight on Loaded. Early pin attempt there, unsuccessful. We're back to both men on their feet. Side headlock applied by Travis Banks. Travis Banks so successful everywhere else he has wrestled. He wants to bring that same success to WCPW. Yeah, he's recently become the Progress Champion. Of course, he wrestled for WWE at their Access Festival in the WrestleMania week earlier on this year. Success plenty of other places as well. And this is why you're seeing it. What an athlete Travis Banks is. Rolls him up. The two count. Oh, big shove from the champ. Shoved back from Banks. Skull trying to back Banks into the corner. The ovation we heard, by the way, for oh, going for a clean break. Will we get it from the villain? Well, it would be out of character. Let's face it. They're calling the villain for a reason. And that's why. I was about to say the ovation that Marty Skrull 
got at the, the top of the show here when he came out to celebrate his title win was among the loudest cheers I've ever heard at a WCPW show. This is a very popular new champion. And this is ridiculous, this live crowd lapping up these tactics of Marty Skrull. Why is it ridiculous? Because if any member of the Prestige did that, they would boo. Wait, why do you think that is? Because, because they're hypocrites, that's why. Oh, okay. Nothing to do with the way the Prestige have conducted themselves over these past few months. Now you're getting it. Skrull onto the apron, goes for the kick. Banks tries to cover up. And stamp onto the fingers as well. Or instead, rather. This man likes to break hands and fingers, doesn't he? Oh! Once a villain, always a villain. Skull having some fun with the crowd here, but he needs to keep his attention onto Travis Banks, which he now returns to. 100%. The Kiwi buzzsaw is not the kind of man you give even an inch to. He will take a mile. Oh, right to the throat. Yeah, it wasn't even in the face. You're right, it was right in the windpipe of Travis Banks. A really dangerous place to be hit, particularly with that much impact. Back into the ring they come. Banks trying to fight to his feet. Banks! Almost potentially had an arm broken there by Skrull. Oh. This won't do his arm any favours either if Skrull does what I think he's planning. And driving oh. the knuckles into that space between the arm and the shoulder. Oh! Oh, oh that could be a broken arm. Easily. Boot right into the, the kidney area of Banks from Skrull. Now wrapping the arm around the rope. And this is why Skrull has been so successful throughout his career. When he gets on top, he, he, there's no give. So the cover here gets a two count. Skrull so relentless. Not just relentless, but very targeted. He's been focusing on that left arm for a good couple of minutes now. Really, that's a very deliberate strategy from the new champion. And again, Marty Skrull going back to the hands, the fingers, the wrists of Travis Banks. But he left the legs wide open. Skrull rolls back through now. The fingers of Banks locked. Oh, hang on, now he's under the feet. Under the feet of Skrull. Oh, Skrull! Another stamp. And you know he's trying to soften up those fingers. Marty Skrull, and he goes for a cover. It's another two count. Or maybe a one count, in fact. We know Skrull likes to break the fingers of his opponent. Oh, it makes me sick to my stomach every time he does it. Very Awful sound to hear, no doubt about that. It's a sickening crack, but right now Marty Skrull looking to wear down his challenger. Banks knows that that's the plan here, so he's got to his feet as fast as he can, trying to counter this Japanese stranglehold, if he can. Banks gets caught back in it, with his arms over his head. His spine lands on the knees of Marty Skrull. And just like that, the WCPW champion back in control of this main event. Here's what I was talking about. Oh, Banks not having any of it. I don't think Skrull was expecting that. He was expecting to break the fingers of Travis Banks. Instead, Banks nearly broke the champ's jaw. Fans can boo, but on that occasion, you can't blame Travis Banks, who wants to have their fingers broken in that way. Oh, my God. Look at the eyes of the prestigious own Kiwi Budsaw. Genuinely terrifying is Banks. Here comes the cannonball. Right into the champion. We could have a new champion. This really could happen, you know. Skrull countering the suplex. Banks lands on his feet behind, goes for the roll-up. And the kick to the face of Skrull. No banks in control. What's he looking for here? Maybe the slice of heaven from Travis Banks. Skrull knew it was coming, moved out of the way. Banks rolls through, grabs the leg. Skrull trying to pull him down for the pin. Instead, Banks sits down onto Skrull. Skrull counters, goes for a pin of his own. Both men 
trying for the covers here. Rapid fire pin attempt. And finally, both men breaking free of each other. Lots of two counts, but not a three count. This one goes on. WCPW Championship on the line in our main event of the penultimate episode of Loaded. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is getting heated. Getting very, very heated. We saw the technical wrestling early on. That is giving way to these vicious chops. This guy will go to the ropes. Banks will follow him in with an uppercut. Prime roar from Banks. And Skull kicks him in the front of the knee. Skull flapping his arms. As he starts to feel the energy of this crowd support. Banks, though, quick to cut off that momentum. And now Banks goes for the Kiwi oh. Crusher, gets count it's countered, it's countered by Skull into a small package for two. That's how quickly Skull can turn the tables. Oh, and then Skull turned inside out by Travis Banks. Well, Travis Banks and Marty Skull have been two of the standout performers on the independent wrestling scene worldwide in the past couple of years. And you're seeing exactly why here in this main event. What a main event it is. Now this could be such a huge night in the career of Travis Banks. He can't think about the prestige or Joe Hendry at this point, as strange as that is for me to say. Banks will go to the top. He's taking a while to get there. Skull's going to catch him. Kicks him in the, in the right thigh there. Skull has got the fingers. Wasn't going to break the fingers, instead he used them to uh, send a message to someone in the front row. Skull though, again back to business, and that's bad news for Travis Banks, who gets superplexed. Oh, but hang on, Banks, Banks has wrapped him up. Yeah. It's a, almost, almost a pin. Here comes Skull. Oh, kick to the side of the head. The neck snapping sideways. This young New Zealander. Almost had his head taken clean off his shoulders. Skull goes to the ropes, not once but twice. Big lariat. We just saw that minutes ago happen to the champion. Turn around is fair play. Travis Banks, his body turned around. He lands back first on the canvas. Skull to win it, no. That's going to take a lot to beat Travis Banks. So this man has had an, inc an incredible year. It could get even better tonight on Loaded. Yeah, but it took a lot to defeat Will Ospreay and Joe Hendry and refused to lose. Even joining that match late, he still had a lot of work to do to come out the winner in, that, in what became a triple threat match. And Marty Skull deserves all the credit in the world for getting the job done. Absolutely, and Marty Skull cannot look past Travis Banks. Said it before, I'll say it again. Well, Skull looks like he's trying to line up Banks for that cross face. Chicken wing! Banks counters. Takes Skull away by the arm. The drop kick will send the champion into the corner. Banks, double oh. foot stomp. Right in the middle of the back of Skull. This could win it, you know, but Skull finds a way to get out. The grimace on the face of Banks tells its own story. He believed that that was enough to get the job done and bring that WCPW title back into the ranks of the prestige. Banks will go for the slice of heaven again. Will he get it on the second time of asking? Again, Skull had it scouted. Fingers. Oh, God. Oh, that makes me feel sick. Oh. The most awful sound in the rest of the world. Here's the chicken wing. Banks will counter. Banks surprises Skull. New champion, no. Skull goes behind. Chicken wing. Chicken wing again. The chicken wing again. Travis Banks is in the middle of the ring. Oh, Banks is in the middle of the ring and he taps, he taps. Skull retains, unloaded. Here is your winner as the result of a submission. And still, one culture pro wrestling champion, the villain, Marty Skull. 
a hell of a competitive championship match in our main event on Loaded. But in the end, Marty Skrull retains in his first title defense against Travis Banks. Now, I'm not sure what the mood will be in the prestige in their dressing room right now. Yes, they perhaps wanted Travis Banks to win the WCPW title. But, and this is a big but, Dave Bradshaw, will Joe Hendry be happy that he may still get the chance to take that gold from Marty Skrull? Another standing ovation for Marty Skrull. We started the night with one, we end the night with one. But what's this? Skrull is asking the crowd whether he should offer a, a fist here to, to Banks. Wait a minute, Banks has to think carefully about this, knowing the prestige are watching. Oh! And Banks... Uncharacteristically, it has to be said, showing respect back to Marty Skull. Nonetheless, Skull, still your champion. Join us next week for the last ever Loaded. Taking it out, taking this money